being wrapped and ready to be shipped. So kayak molds, we, we literally pour powder polyethylene in the mold. Um, he's putting decals on right now, so all the decals go right onto the mold. This is a canoe oven. The canoe ovens are much bigger than the kayak ovens. And the mold will actually spin and oscillate in that oven, unlike the kayak ovens that will oscillate themselves. So this is what produces this. In 2006, I actually enrolled my son, who was 10 years old, and I watched, as most parents do, on the sidelines for about three months, and I decided that that was something that I'd like to tackle. The process, it was a long process anyways, going from white belt to black belt. Um, there's a lot of um, mental learning and physical learning. And I think probably the more difficult was the mental learning and the truly disciplining yourself and learning how to uh, manage your, um, uh, your brain um, to do the things that you need to do. Um, so worked hard on that. Um, I made a lot of changes inside and outside of karate, which became uh, really positive for me. Um, and my son as well um, did a lot of uh, mental changes, which was good for him at 10 years old to kind of learn that discipline and respect out of karate. Um, I helped teach karate um, with uh, Sensei Kennedy, mostly kids class. I do take some adult classes once in a while, but mostly kids classes. Um, I, I assist, um, as Senpai indicates, as an assistant teacher um, or sergeant at arms, if you'd like. I was probably in orange belt working on my blue belt and I had actually a job review and that was the first time my boss called me in to say um, that he was really impressed with how karate had helped me learn to deal with my work-life balance because I'd had a really skewed work-life balance way towards work um, and karate helped me realize that there was more to um, that, that harmony within yourself that work tends to create because it's consistent and repetitive and you know it's easily managed but life can be a little bit more hectic so I kind of learned that I could manage my outside world a little better, my stress and it became a very manageable process and it actually showed up in a review so I thought that was pretty cool that karate had that kind of impact. Um, I love the camaraderie that you build with the people around you. Um, because you're all sharing the same goals and you're all working towards the same thing, there's a, there's a building of camaraderie. Um, the Eastern Maine School of Self-Defense also builds um, that camaraderie outside the dojo with camping trips and suppers and get-togethers that really become a much bigger part of your life. I would recommend karate to anybody who's looking to um, bring a whole mind, body, and spirit um, kind of process together for themselves. And it really has to be for yourself. It really can't be for somebody else or for some, you know, uh, unrealistic or out of the world reasoning. It really needs to be, um, you know, for me it was I needed to be more healthy. I'm, I'm getting older. Um, I started karate after I turned 40. I wanted to do things that made me feel good. Um, I went to karate. I, I dedicated myself to goals within the dojo and goals without a, from outside the dojo. And by achieving a lot of those goals myself and working hard towards both ends, um, I feel like I, I have a, a better spirit about life. Um, and I think that the dojo kind of opens the door for that. That really kind of harmonizes your mind with your body and, then it, and it just builds growth within your spirit.